Hi Leo, this is going to be your reading for Twin Flames for 2020. So this is going to be a reading for you and your Twin Flame. We're going to see what's coming through, what's happening, what messages I can present to you and give you. And I really hope that you are doing well. So whether you're a Leo Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign, welcome. And uh, yeah, so I just hope that you're doing well. Also, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every month. And then also, if you're interested in purchasing a private paid reading, information is in the description box below as well. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. And the last thing I would love to mention is that my intention bracelets are on Etsy. So do check those out if you're interested. Also, do check out the reviews to see how other people have got on with them, the results that they've seen, because that, that is just the bit that gets me. And it is just so exceptionally amazing that you're able to feel what I put into them, which is, you know, meditating with them. I've handmade these. I have saged these. I mean, I've put so much energy into these and these are the twin flame ones. If anyone is interested, everything will be linked down below. They start from just three pounds, free international shipping. So I thought I would mention that again. I mean, I mention it in pretty much all my videos because I take so much time to hand make them, sage them, send them out to you guys. And just to see the love and support on them is absolutely incredible. And I try to make them as affordable as I possibly could. All right, Leo, Twin Flames, let's have a look. Nine of Pentacles, which I think seems to be coming out quite often in some of these Twin Flame readings for 2020. And I'm not surprised. You know why? Because this is all about confidence. It is about feeling good. It's about just the sense of feeling happy and good and positive and confident. I keep saying that word because it keeps coming through. Independent, you know? A lot of growth within yourself. Which, by the way, you know, when we really put a lot of that focus into ourselves, that energy into ourselves, we feel good within ourselves, it does wonders for progression progressing wow progressing a connection especially of spiritual nature because we're putting more focus into ourselves which allows spiritual nature spiritual natures spiritual connections to grow naturally there we go i'm filming this during a mercury retrograde and it is just not on my side every time a retrograde comes through right my speech is just all over the place, but the messages are coming out, which I think is obviously really great. And the Knight of Pentacles here shows that. So let me just shuffle for some more cards because I can pretty much see the direction in which we are headed. Nine of Swords. We've also got the Death card here as well. Okay, let me just make up the spread because I've lost count of how many cards I have. I usually do a 12 card spread. I mean, if we get a couple more, that's totally fine. Actually, I'm going to start here at the bottom. I always intuitively place my cards just in case you're new, you're wondering sort of how it works. And I always read upright. It is the way in which I can just connect the best with tarot and my spirit guides. Everyone reads differently. There's lots of upright readers on YouTube. There's a lot of reverse readers on YouTube. You know, whatever floats your boat, as I say, this is the best way in which I can connect. So I always read upright. All right, so we have got here the Page of Cups. We also have the Death card. We have the Nine of Swords. I will talk about the Knight of Pentacles in a second or two. <laughs> Then we've got the Four of Wands here, which is the Twin Flame card. It's known as the Twin Flame card. Then we have the Nine of Cups, Queen of Cups. Wow. Ace of Pentacles. Page of Swords. And I'm going to take the card at the bottom of the deck. So at the bottom of the deck, we've actually got here the Page of Pentacles, which is very interesting. We've got two pages here. Three pages. Three pages. Three pages, one knight, one king. All right, so we have these two nines here. What's really interesting is that there is a transformation that your twin is going through, okay? Your twin is going through this transformation of really getting rid, and I say rid because I quite literally feel like it is getting rid of, you know, uh, getting rid of something is actually quite a... Um, 
it's quite like a harsh thing, right? Because you're literally like getting rid of it. Oftentimes we say healing, releasing, let it go, you know, this kind of softer versions of it. But this really is your twin wanting to get rid of these thoughts, these feelings that just don't serve them. So they are literally getting rid of these things. And what's happening is that not only are you going to be feeling so much stronger in 2020, so is your twin. There is a sort of following energy where the two of you are mirroring each other, which is exactly what's happening here. So these two nines are reflecting, sort of going from this nine of swords energy to this nine of pentacles energy. Now, whether you're in a couple or whether you are single and, you know, you, you know who your twin is, right? So this is really about things shifting, things transforming. I'm not surprised because we have the death card here. So if you feel like you have been struggling in terms of this twin flame connection, you know, your twin has been struggling, but also you also look like you're struggling in some way. Now, this struggle, right, is more so sort of like an emotional struggle, not knowing, you know, what's happening. There could be some hot and cold energy. And remember that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. So I would recommend if this bit does not resonate with you, that you definitely do check out, you know, the monthly readings, especially. But for 2020, what I am seeing is that there is a transformation here where you are so strong and you're feeling so confident, but your twin is also feeling confident. It's like things are just changing. You know, this energy is going. This energy is just strong and it is coming and it's just absolutely incredible. You know, death card here is about transformations, emotional transformations, death and rebirth. So these two nines here are showing that. We also got here another nine, which is a nine of cups, you know, feeling good, feeling strong, feeling comfortable with the thoughts and emotions that are running through you. Your twin is not going to reject or stuff these feelings that they have for you deep down because they do have feelings for you and that comes through the page of cups. Now, somewhere in 2020, there's going to be an opening for commitment, right? So if you're with your twin, right, this is about things just progressing and getting better and better. But if you're single, right, this can be the two of you exclusively committing to each other. This can be marriage, this can be a proposal, this can be living together. There is something on the lines of that which is coming through, especially with the Knight of Pentacles. So the King of Wands here shows your twin pursuing you after they've gone through this pretty strong emotional transformation. Pursuing you, coming towards you. So it's really important that you do focus your energy on yourself. You feel confident and strong within yourself. We have a lot of retrogrades that start in May. I just want to point that out. Um, it's around about middle of May. We have so many. So around that time, you may feel emotionally just a little bit drained, not so great, but you can lift your aura up. You know, meditation, 10 minutes a day can be so, so great for you. Focusing on your goals, hobbies, dreams, all that good stuff is very, very crucial, very important for your health, you know, and I think that's very important as well. Four of Wands. It shows that whatever path you're on in regards to this connection, you're on it for a reason. Sometimes there are lessons to be learnt. This is also about you getting stronger, but also your twin getting stronger. This is about, you know, the connection growing. We have here 1111. You may actually see those repeating numbers quite often. 2020 itself is, you know, repeating in that sense. But what I am seeing is also attraction and a lot of things brewing, growing and getting stronger between the two of you. Okay, so... We've already talked about the Nine of Cups here, but the Queen of Cups is about you feeling strong and confident within yourself. Now, whether you're male or female, I always read the energies in tarot, not always genders. So just know that, you know, and I'm seeing you accepting yourself, feeling good about who you are and what it is that you have to offer. I mean, the Queen of Cups has one of the most spectacular cups in tarot, right? Look at this cup. Amazing, right? And it's about knowing your worth, which you will in 2020 and this also allows a connection to grow because twin flame connections are about um, sort of you know push and pull and it can be all over the place but the minute you take your energy and you put it into yourself it does wonders for the connection. Ace of Pentacles here, commitment, stability, security, a wish come true, initiation with this archway, King of Wands you know pursuing you, an opening, communication by the way getting stronger and stronger as well you know and, and really just finding that flow and that happiness and that joy, this sort of um, fun energy of, of adventure and feelings manifesting and getting stronger and stronger and also here commitment and opening for it. Wow, 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 wow. So this is what you can expect 
in 2020 for Twin Flames Leo. And uh, if this reading resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Now, you may also be this King of Wands as well, and that is something that I do want to mention as well. It can be you. So I just want to let you know that as well, but it can also be your twin because you're mirroring each other. All right, so this is your reading. If this resonates, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, do make sure you click on the bell notification next to the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, you'll be getting my videos in your subscription box. Um, but also, you know, do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and my bracelets, which are on Etsy. Hope you have an absolutely lovely day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. And take care. Bye.